Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm excited to share the new release at the Paper Person Shop. So I don't have any of the papers or the full kits, but I have the stamp sets. So I'm going to share with you all the stamp sets that are releasing today. And if you want to see the kits, definitely click on the link down in the description box and you will be able to see all the kits and the papers and all that good stuff. But I wanted to share with you the stamp sets because some of these stamp sets, I'm going to use them today in my reading with Hibba journal for 2022. And I'm going to put together my first spread for January. So I wanted to share the stamp sets with you before I do my process video. So let's get to it real quick. I'm going to share the kit stamps. So there's two kits. There's the main kit. Uh, which is the subscription kit and then there is also a mini kit that you can purchase separately this month and I wanted to share with you the stamps that come with the kit again I do not have the papers the cards and all that good stuff so this first one is from the main kit and it's all about kind of, it's a buildable stamp set so you can stamp out the labels either put dates or you can add uh, sentiments or words or whatever the case is. My favorite part about label stamps is stamping them multiple times, trimming them out and putting them in my stash. That way I always have labels on hand and I don't have to like worry about stamping them out. But that is part of the subscription kit. And this is part of the mini kit, which is all about books. Those cards are gorgeous. I definitely recommend to check out the website because the cards are beautiful. But it's all about reading. So you have ebook, paper, audiobook, library book, addicted to buying books. That's totally me. Reading challenge. I love that stamp set because I always have some sort of challenge going on. You also have this one, which is a favorite, and it has the number. So you can put like number one of a hundred. So if you are on Goodreads and you're reading a hundred books this year, you can kind of do a little countdown and kind of cover that in the series, or you use it to document how many books you have left in one series. So you can do one of five or something like that. It's just such a fun little stamp set to use to document your reading. And now let's get into the add-on stamp sets. The add-on stamp sets are just adorable. First off, you have the party animal. Really, really cute. I love the dogs and the kitty cats are just so adorable. You have party animal, happy birthday 2A. And woof woof, that means happy birthday. So cute. Totally using that for stitch. Then you have the happy birthday. Or no, it says it is your birthday. So I can't wait to use this on my birthday spreads. So you have the disco ball, happy birthday. Here's to you, a cupcake, cake and candles. Really good stamp set to document birthdays. Uh, an alpha stamp, which is always a favorite. So this one is called Kip, and I really love the tall alphas. I don't know if you've watched my craft room tour, but I use this tall alpha on my wall because I have a chalk wall uh, or chalkboard wall, and I just really love that font. So I'm excited for that, and I'm totally using this today. Some reading stamps. This one's called Reading Right Now. So you have re uh, read by the author, book of the month, bookstore browsing, reading list, love my librarians. So cute, good little prompt stamp for reading. Next up, we have reading tracker. So you can use this to track your reading. I love the book stack, reading tracker challenge. You have these little lines with the boxes where you can tick off the books, maybe your TBR or something. And then you have reading goals, tracking my TBR pile. I'm always tracking my TBR. <laughs> I have loads of books. And then this guy is so good. I love this audiobook stamp set. So this one's called Listening and Loving. And you have the audiobook, the headphones, so, so cute. By the way, I just noticed that my hands are inky. I'm sorry about that. And then you have the AirPods, which are perfect because I read a lot through audiobooks. 
uh, or I listen a lot to audiobooks. Um, that's a great way to be able to read more. And then you have the stack of books, so it's like a buildable stamp set. Remember to download. Then you have bookmarked, press play, favorite narrator, listening and loving, celebrity narrator alert, and the speeds, you guys, that is so, so smart. I really, really like that because I'm always speeding up my speed. And so I always end up at 2.0. But anyways, those are the four by sixes. And then we have this large number stamp. And this one is called Kent. And again, love the thin numbers. Love that they're wide and big. These are perfect to add like 2022 to a spread. So, so fun. And I'm totally using this one as well. So those are the stamp sets that are releasing today. Again, I don't have the cards, but if you want to check out the cards, I definitely recommend to click on the website. But anyways, I want to share with you how I'm going to use some of these stamp sets in my reading with Heba Traveler's Notebook. So I um, have a book club, and if you're not familiar with my book club, I definitely recommend to follow there and be a part of our book club. It's always linked in the description box. It's an Instagram book club. And so last year I did like these little layouts of each book every month. It was so much fun, really, really enjoyed it. But this year I wanna change it up. So I'm gonna still use the same a traveler's notebook because I still have a lot of pages in there. So I want to use this traveler's notebook to do something different and fun. And these stamp sets are going to be my go-to right now for 2022 because these are totally going to work to kind of document my love of reading and my book club and all that good stuff. So if you want to see how I put together January in my reading with Hiba traveler's notebook, uh, just keep watching. And I will walk you through how I'm documenting my Reading with Hibba book club for 2022 using some of these new releases from the Paper Person Shop. Okay, you guys, let's start working in my Reading with Hibba journal. I'm going to create a title page for 2022. That way I separate 2021 from 2022. And these number stamps are perfect for that. They're large, they're gonna be bold. So I'm gonna end up using them to stamp 2022. I purposely didn't stamp it like in the center because I knew I wanted to stamp the books underneath the 2022. And I knew I wanted to stamp Reading with Heba Book Club. So the Reading with Heba Book Club that I'm gonna end up using is from Feed Your Craft. It's no longer available, but I've been using it throughout my journal. Obviously, it's all about reading with Hibba, so I'm gonna use that. So I made sure to stamp my 2022 where I could use some of my stamps underneath and above the 2022. So once I stamp the books, I'm gonna stamp the open book from the audio book stamp uh, right above the zero. And then I'm going to grab my feature craft stamp and stamp reading with Heba Book Club right next to that. So most of these stamps that I just stamped, or all of them actually, have fillers. And I love filler stamps because you can add color. So I'm literally going to go in between like different ink pad colors. I end up using some yellow, green, pink. And I'm going to fill out the books with those colors and it's going to bring in so much color to my bold numbers. And I'm also going to fill out the open book as well. And once I do that, I knew I wanted to add something in that zero. I didn't know what, but I knew I wanted to fill it with something. Now, I wish I used that open book to stamp it in the zero, but I didn't think about that. So what I'm going to end up doing is stamping currently reading. It's a little circle stamp that says currently reading, and I'm gonna use it and stamp it on some white paper and then add it to the zero. Now, I didn't wanna stamp it directly in the zero because I wasn't sure it was gonna stamp well, especially that my book is getting pretty bulky. So if I stamped it there, I thought it was not gonna work, but it worked on white paper, and now I just wanna add a little heart just to bring in some color to the zero and I call my title page done pretty simple, pretty easy, and really cute. 
So for 2022, I decided to change it up. I am going to be adding library card and a couple of photos from my Instagram to document my reading with Heba. I like changing it up from year to year and then you can kind of tell them apart. So I'm going for it. I'm gonna use this close to my heart stamp set. It's a library card, it's adorable, and it even comes with dies that will cut out your library card. I'm gonna lose some footage once I take this to my die cut machine, but all I did was I added journaling to the card, I stamped out the dates and the author and all that information. It turned out really, really cute. So I went ahead and stuck it down. I'm going to use the new alphas to stamp January. I wish I stamped the January higher up. It felt like it was way too low on the like next to the library card. But it's not a big deal because I'm going to end up moving the library card. I'm going to move it down a little bit and then it's going to look a little bit better. Thank God I didn't stamp the library card directly on my uh, traveler's notebook and I tend to do that a lot when I'm not sure where I want to set things so that's a little tip for you if you're not sure stamp it on white paper it's probably a little bit easier than having to cover up your mistake anyways I took two photos screenshots from my Instagram one was from the voting that we always do every month and then one was the book that we read that month and I didn't want to add too many photos because I knew the stamps were going to totally tell the story. And you're going to see I'm going to end up stamping a lot on the spread. I grabbed the audiobook stamp. I'm going to stamp the headphones. And I thought I wanted to fill out the headphones with a person. So I remembered that I had this Ellen Hudson uh, stamp set. I think it's called Voices in My Head. It's a buildable stamp set. So I'm just going to use it to create a face and hair and all that good stuff and it turns out really really cute i'm so happy i remembered that i had that stamp set then i'm going to go back to the audiobook stamp set from the paper person shop to stamp the uh, airpods they're so cute and i really really wanted to include them on my spread and i'll stamp the book stack right above one of my photos so this i have a little boo-boo here once I stamp the book stack, I stamp, I stamp them in black because I thought I'll use the buildable stamp or the filler stamp to fill the books up. And because it's like one filler stamp, so these st the books are not individually stamped out, I thought it would be fun to kind of do like a ombre effect and that way the books look like they're different colors but man do I mess up it did not work I don't know why <laughs> maybe I'm doing this wrong and I tried like different ink pads and you're gonna see when I stamp it out it does not look good at all so I want to cover this up I just do not like how it looks so I'm gonna grab some white paper I'm gonna grab the stamp sets again and I'm gonna re-stamp the book stack and I'll even try it again with the yellow ink, but it just doesn't work. I don't know if it's my ink pads or it just doesn't work with yellow ink. I'm not even sure. So I end up stamping it with some blue ink, which is fine. It matches my book cover. It kind of works. It's okay. It didn't turn out like how I envisioned it, but you know what? It's no big deal. I trim it out and I cover my book stacks and it looks so much better than that blob of nothing <laughs> that's sitting on my page. Now that I'm done trimming out my stack of books, I can cover my boo-boo. And then I'm going to move that library card. I mentioned it earlier. I felt like the January was way too low and just moving my library card made a huge difference. I will go back to my audiobook stamp set to stamp Celebrity Narrator Alert. This book was read by Trevor Noah and I'm so happy I listened to it because he did such a good job. I'll also stamp the playback speed really genius stamp. I think it's perfect to kind of document how fast you were listening to this book. So I stamped that right above my library card. And now I'm going to stamp the iPhone just to fill out that space. And I can add color now with my Crayola markers. So I'm going to color in everything. <laughs> I want to bring in more color. So I'm going to color in my iPhone. I'm going to color in me listening with my headphones on 
and just bring in some color. Now, one thing I wish I did was I wish I used、um, my Tombow markers to fill in the female and her skin color. I don't know, it looked really off when I used my Crayolas, but it's not a big deal. She still looked pretty cute. Anyways, once I fill out everything with my markers, I'm going to put them away. And go back to my stamp set. So I grabbed a different stamp set. This is the reading tracking stamp set. I think that's what it's called. Again, I'll be linking everything down below to stamp reading right above my Instagram post. And then I'm gonna stamp hashtag bookstagram right underneath my library card. I wanted to balance out that black from the top left corner and the bottom right corner. And then I'm going to grab my favorite little floral stamp from Everyday Explorers to stamp little sprinkles here and there. I love doing this, it really helps balance out the colors. And it just adds a little something in those little empty spots on my spread. Once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna grab my reading with Heba stickers and add one to my spread. And then I call my layout done. Don't forget, today is release day at the Paper Person Shop. I will be adding all the links down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, Please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.